I see a lot of people saying that you don't get pest issues or you don't get gnats when using hydroponic systems. Even companies that sell hydroponic systems, that's one of their like marketing things, but it's not true. I've had pest issues in most of my hydroponic systems actually. Fungus gnats I've only had in one hydroponic system. It's a system that I haven't even shown on my page, but I've had it for like a year. I've had spider mites on multiple hydroponic systems. Spider mites are an absolute nightmare. Like they are so hard to get rid of. I've been dealing with them since November and whenever I think they're gone, I find them again. Spider mites are what kills your rose. Yeah, the thing about spider mites is they are so small. You might start noticing their damage long before you ever find them. A lot of people say that you'll see webs on your plants. I haven't seen any spider mite webs at all. I have a digital microscope. It's in my Amazon storefront. It was only like $30, but I was able to like look really closely. They look like moving specks of dust, but I was able to look very closely and identify them as spider mites. And the thing about spider mites is they can lay up to 20 eggs per day. It only takes about three days for their eggs to hatch. It takes five days for them to turn into adults and they just lay more eggs. So you can have hundreds within a week. And the thing also about treating your plants for spider mites, because they their eggs hatch every three days, you have to spray something every three days. And the worst thing about them, they can build up resistance to whatever treatment method you're using. So you have to rotate through different sprays. See through tracks, not holes in the leaf for the spider mite damage. So one way that I check my plants for spider mite damage is hold the plant up to a light source or even like the flashlight on your phone, you can put it underneath the leaves and you'll see like little, they look like pinholes, but they're not holes, but they're just like really tiny dots where they've chewed on the leaves, but that's a telltale sign of spider mites. And also what I didn't realize for the longest time is that my plant leaves were just dropping off of the plants. I could shake the plant and so many leaves would drop off. I did not even realize at the time that it was spider mites because I couldn't see them. When I finally saw them, I was looking at this big hydroponic system. It was like as tall as me and I saw a little moving dot on there. I looked closer and I saw hundreds of whatever these bugs were, which now I now know are spider mites, but by the time you finally notice them, you probably have a lot.